How's it going, folks? Jeff Benjamin with 9to5Mac. On this week's episode of Final Cut Friday, we're talking about title cards and how I use them in my videos. Check it out. Now, if you follow my videos for any amount of time, you know that I like to use title cards to break up logical points within a video. For instance, if I'm doing a video about the top iPhone tips, then I would have a title card for every single tip and that will serve as a way to introduce that tip. Um, I like doing that because not only is it easy for me as an editor, but it's also nice for the user because, or the viewer because they can actually see what, what to expect next and there's really no guesswork involved in that. Also, if they're watching without sound, then those title cards sort of help them to follow along with the video as well. So lots of different benefits. Obviously not always appropriate to use title cards, but sometimes it can be really nice. Now here's the question. How do I make these title cards? Do I hop over to Photoshop or Affinity Designer and start putting these cards together? Well, that is an option and I do do that at times when necessary, but I like to create most of my title cards right within Final Cut Pro 10 itself for a few reasons. Number one, it's faster. I don't have to leave the app. I can stay in the app I'm already using and create those title cards. Number two, you can heavily edit the text right within Final Cut Pro 10. Obviously, you can go to the inspector, change the font, change the font weight, change the font size, all sorts of things, and that's really just the tip of the iceberg. There's also different animations you can use. You can use third-party stuff, all within Final Cut Pro 10. And then three, you can change up the background. You can easily change the background color right within Final Cut Pro 10. And really, again, that's just the tip of the iceberg as well. So with all that said, let me show you how I go about creating title cards in Final Cut Pro 10 right now. Okay, so I've created a blank project and I'm gonna quickly show you how to create a title card. It's so easy. So all you need to do is go up to the browser. You should see the titles and generators sidebar. You just click that button, scroll down under generator. You should see solids. You want to select that and then you should see custom. So you just want to insert a custom generator, which will basically be a blink or a black background by default. And you can customize the color right in the inspector. So make sure the inspector is open here and then click the generators inspector panel. And then you should see under publish parameters, the color. So you can just click on there and you can customize the background color just like this. So I, I'm gonna use the color wheel in this instance here and create a custom background. Let's see, what colors do I wanna use? These aren't very good. This one actually looks pretty good, so I'll use that color. Uh, you can also use any of the saved colors that you have out there as well in your color picker. So that's very handy if you have some colors that you often use. Uh, but I'm just gonna use this color right here. All right, so you can close the color picker. Now it's time to add a custom title. So what we'll do is we'll scroll up here under titles we're gonna select bumper opener because I just want a plain title with no animation. I'm gonna use basic title, just drag that right here on top of our custom generator. So those are the basic building blocks of a title card in Final Cut Pro 10. Uh, so now you can just select the basic title here and you can customize the font. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. I'm gonna make it a little bit larger. I'm gonna keep Helvetica and we're gonna change the weight to, how about make it bold? All right, so we'll just call it title card example. Now, another thing I like to do is to change the length of the title card so it's not on screen for too long or too short. Uh, so you can just highlight that, double click here, and then you can put in a time. So this is a 30 frames per second project. I'll just put in 45 frames. So a second and a half, basically. Uh, and that is long enough, in my opinion, for a title card so that you can read it without it being on the screen too long. So now it's just a matter of duplicating these cards. So I'm just gonna copy, paste, 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 paste. And then you can go in and change the, the name of each card based on what you're gonna talk about. So this is a very simple way to create custom title cards within Final Cut Pro 10 without having to rely on a third-party application. So now I could just go in, I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna go back out to our other project here and then I'm just gonna paste that title card right in there and now you can see how that title card will look within a real project. So what do you guys think? Do you like the idea of creating title cards right within Final Cut Pro 10? Let me know, thumbs up if you appreciate this video and also check back next week because of course we will have more Final Cut Pro tips 
in the near future. So hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments section. This is Jeff with 9to5.